So today we're going to take a look at how an electric actuator works. This is a linear electric actuator that most parts are manufactured using a 3D printer. So what we have here is the main body, have the carrier, and two end caps. Inside, you'll see there's a screw that runs from one end of the actuator to the other. As it's running from one end to the other, it runs through a nut. This nut is attached to the carrier. And then at this end, we have a nut. And inside of this cap, there is another nut. So the purpose of these three nuts are this nut is attached to the carrier. So as the screw rotates, the nut will travel along the length of the screw causing the carrier to travel along the length of the actuator. These two at the end will keep the end of the screw captive so the screw stays in place as it's uh, rotating the nut back and forth. By again turning the screw, you'll see that nut that's attached to the carrier travel. To make it an electric actuator, I've added Two other nuts over here, they're jammed together, it gives me a means to attach a coupler to it. So then we'll introduce our motor, it's a brush DC motor attached to a gearbox, uh, found it at a hobby store. And I made this coupler that uh, one end of it is attached to the shaft that's coming out of the gearbox, the other end will fit over these two nuts and last but not least we have two AA batteries that will power up our DC motor so here's how it would operate we're going to couple these together and like that okay and then we'll power up the motor and there we have now motion as the screw rotates, therefore the nut rotates, causing the carrier to travel. And to reverse the direction, we'll just reverse the polarity of our uh, motor, causing the carrier to move to the other end of the actuator. There you have it. So this is how an electric actuator works. Hope you enjoy it.